Hi there. Okay, welcome to the next photo shop tutorial. This time we're going to take the red rose and we're going to turn it into a rainbow rose. We're going to do this with many layers and changes to the hue of the image. Okay, first of all, we need to select part of the rose. I'm going to start with the bottom petal here. To do this, I'm going to use the lasso tool. I'm going to very carefully draw around the edge of this particular petal all the way up to here and come down and round. Now using the lasso tool you have to be very careful that you are taking your time following the edges and making sure you get each part selected. Once you get to the beginning of it it will start to flash. At this point, I'll know that I've selected the area I want. I move over to the Move tool. I then, on the keyboard, press Ctrl-C to copy, and Ctrl-V to paste. You will now notice I have a layer, if I close the eyes here, next to the other layers, with just that petal on it. Okay, can you see that? So that is the layer with this petal, and it's called Layer 1. On layer one, I'm going to change the hue to a different hue to make it a different color. To do this, I go to Image, Adjustments, and I go down to Hue and Saturation. Hue is the posh name for the color. And if I move the slidey bar, you can see that the hue is starting to change. Okay, I think we will start with a purple. So we will go there. OK, click OK, and that part is completed. I will then move around to another part of the flower, so I'll go back to the background layer. I'll go back to my lasso. I will leave this one as a red petal, and I'll change this one up here to an orange. Now, again, this is quite a tricky one because lots of detail on the edge of this petal. I will go round as carefully as I can. Remember, photography is not a race. I will come round here and you'll see I've now selected this area. I will do the same thing on the keyboard again. Control C, Control V and we can check I have got just that layer. Now, we're going to go for the rainbow effect. So we've got purple here, red there. We'll go for some orange so I click on the layer I wish to change which is now layer 2 go to image adjustments and hue this time I will slide the bar until I get to an orangey color I would say about there click OK so now so we've got the purple the red the orange so we need to select this petal to make it yellow I'll go around the edges here. I'm going to take out that piece so it has a really nice overlapped effect. Go back around here. Okay, so go back to the layer with the picture on it. Control C, Control V. Just double check I've got the right piece. And this one we're going to make yellow. So we go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and we move it to the yellow section. There we go, a little bit of bright yellow, okay, thank you. I will then do this next section, so I go back to the background layer. I draw my selector tool around here, I'm going to select that little piece there as well. Come around here, get a nice shadowy piece. Up around there, remember the keyboard, Control C, Control V, and I've got four layers as well as the background. So on this one, I will be going to Image, Adjustments, View Saturation again. And I need to find a green this time. There's my green. Click OK. And then I need to go back to the background. You can see, once you have the technique, it becomes relatively repetitious. I could go all the way through into these petals as well, 
So I think for this one, I'm going to take out this really large wrapped around piece here. Because the thing about roses, they all tend to grow around as a big wrap around, don't they? So this section, control C, control V. That's my piece. So I will then go to image, adjustment, hue saturation. This time I just want blues. It's too bright. Go the other way. Real primary color blue. Click OK. So we've now got the whole way around the rainbow. So if I do this part here, there's dark purple again. And then the middle bit can be red and it will work as a rainbow effect. So there we go, that section there, control C, control V, and do image adjustments, hue saturation, bring it into the purples. There we go to slightly blue or purple this time. If it's not bright enough, I can always darken it down slightly with the saturation level. And click OK. Then I want to put the background black and white again so you can really see the enhanced colours of my rainbow. OK, I'm happy with this. I could continue and do the very, very middle bit, but I think I'm happy with it as it is. So I'll go to File, Save As, call it Color, color Splash Rainbow, Rainbow Rose, and save that. Thank you very much. There you go. That is your Rainbow Splash Color Rose tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.